Shell Point, I'm Christy Skinner, Senior Director of Healthcare Services, and I have a special guest joining me today, Rachel Zellers, our Director of Long-Term Care at the Larson Pavilion. I thought this would be a great opportunity in our Medical Minute series to take the opportunity to get to know some of our leadership team members, especially with Rachel being new to the community. So thank you so much, Rachel, for joining me today. We're so thrilled to have you here. Oh, I'm excited to be here at Shell Point. So one of the first things that I like to take um, advantage of with our team members is just tell the community a little bit more about you, if you would mind doing, mm -hmm. both personally and professionally. Okay, um, I'm married, have three children, 13 grandchildren, and a collection of animals, including a new litter of puppies, eight golden doodles. So I keep pretty busy outside of work. At work, I've been in long-term care for 30 years and have been an administrator for more than 20, most of that time in Pennsylvania. Well, we're, you sound like a very busy person, and I know that those puppies are absolutely adorable. You've been, um, the residents are so excited to see pictures of them. You've been so kind to share pictures with me, and your family sounds like they are the light of your life, and so it's just wonderful to have you here with the experience that you have and just the personal side of you as well. I think that's so important in healthcare to have mm -hmm. that personal compassionate touch. Mm -hmm. So now that you've been here a couple of months, I'll consider you seasoned. Okay. Tell me a little bit about what you feel your number one priority is at the Larson Pavilion. My number one priority is the customer service and the personal relationships. Um, we have a large number of residents, large number of staff, and it's easy for people to kind of lose sight of that individual person-to-person -person interactions that really mean the world to people who need to be in our care. And so I'm working on some initiatives to, number one, make sure that we're meeting the customer service expectations of the residents. So we're doing a discharge survey of our residents who have come in for rehab, and we're also working on some um, programs that would combine the residents and the staff in some joint activities so that they can get to know each other on a non-caregiving level and I think that will go a long way. That sounds excellent. I know that in the past the Larson Pavilion really hasn't checked in with our residents when they've left us to see what was the experience mm -hmm. and have that open dialogue to ask them was it a good experience, was it a not so good experience mm -hmm. and how can we improve that relationship with them so that when they do have an incident that dictates their need to come back to us, we are number one choice, mm -hmm. no questions asked. So I'm really excited that you're, you're asking those questions and wanting to get that feedback from them. But I love that element too of the associates getting involved in programming with our residents because you know, they love to provide care. If I'm a CNA, I want to go in there, I've chosen this field for mm -hmm. a specific reason, but then if I can go in there and engage with our mm -hmm. residents, just having fun with them, right. they get to know me as an associate on a personal level, and I think that just solidifies those relationships for our long-term care residents and our residents that are there for a short-term stay. So I love those initiatives. So you've got that priority, which I think is huge, mm -hmm. because if I've heard one thing about the Larson Pavilion from our internal customers, it's that they really just have a stigma associated mm -hmm. with us, and we want to change that perception. So excellent choice in your number one priority. What other priorities do you have moving forward in the next year or so that you'd like to see implemented at the Larson Pavilion? I am really big on performance improvement, so that is another thing, and it ties back with the customer service, really, because most people's opinion, negative opinions, come from a bad experience. Mm -hmm. And so if we can improve our systems, then we will be meeting residents' needs and expectations. And usually it's not an individual failure, it's a system failure. So I want to make sure that we're looking at things from that system approach rather than an individual, um, you know, someone did something wrong. because. People really want to do the right thing, um, and if we're not allowing them the opportunity to do that, then we really need to look at why that's happening. So that's another one. And communication is 
always something to be worked on. And again, especially in such a large community like the pavilion and with three shifts in, you know, mm -hmm. seven days a week, it can be challenging. So, you know, again, just getting to know people on all shifts, coming in and seeing them and making sure that we're getting information to everyone, not just those that are there on day shift Monday through Friday. Wonderful. No, communication is probably one of my favorite favorite words <laughs> along with consistency. So I would say this to any resident out there that hasn't taken the opportunity to come to the recent Sweet Scoops open house that we had at Larson Pavilion, you haven't come to see the refresh or you haven't come to meet Rachel Zellers and her exceptional team at the Larson Pavilion, now's the time to take advantage of all the great initiatives in healthy living and really come to see us at the Larson Pavilion. Ask questions. Talk about the conversations or the frustrations or the misperceptions that you might have about long-term care, processes, or experiences. Rachel is a friendly face. Her team is open-minded to honest conversations and we want to hear your opinions and your feedback and we'd love to see you come and take a look at the Larson Pavilion. The refresh is beautiful, the environment is welcoming, and we want to give you the best experience possible in every aspect of healthy living through healthcare. So, Rachel, if they want to reach out to you, if they don't want to just stop in at the Larson Pavilion, which they can always do, can. and they want to contact you via email, mm -hmm. can you provide the Shell Point community your email address? Sure. And that way they can contact you that way. All right. It is Rachel Zellers, R A C H E L Z E L L E R S, at shellpoint.org. Excellent. So, Shell Point, we solicit you to take advantage of the opportunity to get to know our team because we are here to support and care for you through every aspect of healthy living. Rachel, thank you again for your time. It's a pleasure to have you here. I look forward to having you for, like we joke all the time, a very long time. <laughs> yeah. And um, we're just thrilled to service you through healthy living. So, until we see you next time, Shell Point, stay healthy.